Okay, hello. Um, this is a small uh, voltmeter, DC voltmeter, from Electro Resales. Uh, it's designed to uh, monitor the voltage coming from a deep discharge battery, the sort of thing you might use if you're an amateur radio enthusiast or an astronomer or someone that takes uh, batteries out into the field. Maybe you're a boater or maybe you have a, a solar system and you'd like to know what the charge is coming off your, your deep discharge cells. As you can see, it's a small handheld unit. It's about uh, two inches in diameter. It's about an inch, an inch deep. And it's basically the circuit board is sandwiched between two uh, eighth inch thick acrylic laser cut discs. At the bottom here you can see there's a little cutout and that's to allow access to these screw terminals so you connect wires which you then connect to your power source. It's based off of an LM, LM3914 bar graph chip. There's a multicolour bar graph there, uh, red, amber and green. It's protected by a, a resettable PTC type fuse there, that's the little yellow uh, round blob there, not the uh, yellow square blob. And then there's a 1N4 series type diode that uh, protects against reverse polarity. So you're protected in case you put the, uh, the cables down here in the wrong way around. At the back there's a little switch. It uh, allows you to switch between um, having the bar graph display in a dot form or in the full bar form. As you may know with the LM3914, you can actually have it switched uh, so that one LED comes on at a time. Or you can have it the other way around, uh, where all the LEDs come on sequentially until they're all on. So that gives you, the user, a little bit of a chance to uh, try different uh, displays to see which one you like the best. OK, let's have a look now at it actually working and see how it works. OK, I've got the unit uh, hooked up to my uh, bench power supply. This is a variable uh, power supply. gives out a variable voltage. And as you can see, it's currently set to 9.9, uh, 10 volts. And if we have a look at the meter that I've just got up perched on the top of it, none of the LEDs are actually on at this moment. So if we come down, and I'm going to try and do this, it's a little bit tricky, because this is a pretty poor quality control on here. But as I bring the voltage up a little bit, see I bring it up to about 10.5 volts, so the first LED comes on. And that's basically what you've got here. You've got a voltmeter that measures between 10.5 and approximately 14.5 volts. In other words, at the bottom end where that one red LED is on now, that's 10.5 volts. And when we've got all the voltage going in, you know, 14 to 15 volts, all the LEDs will be on, and the green LED at the end will be the, the last one that comes on. So if we have a look down here at the power supply, and you can just see, see I'm trying to get my arm in there, it's actually easier to see. As we go up, just over 11 volts, I've actually pushed it forward too far, Drop it back down. At 11 volts, you get two LEDs on. And what you've got here is the first one was 10.5, if you remember. Now we're at 11, so the second light LEDs come on. And basically, this has got about a half volt resolution, which is about all you really want for something like this. So if we go up now to about 11.5 volts, the third LEDs come on. And something you probably can't see here, or not see easily, is that the third LED is the first of the amber LEDs. The first two were red. This one's amber, there'll be three of those, and then the remaining ones are green. So as we go up again, we go to 12 volts on my little power supply. So you see down here, got 12 volts, and a fourth LED's come on. So for every half volt, another LED comes on, and so on, until we get to the maximum. There's the three ambers, and then a green one comes on, and then as we go up, so more green come on, until we get to nearly 14 volts here, nearly all the LED's are on, See, there we are, 14 volts. All the LEDs are on, and as I go up to 14 and a half, roughly, then uh, that's actually, yeah, spot on 14 and a half. All the LEDs are on. <clears throat> the idea is that uh, when your battery is fully charged or actually on charge, all the LEDs are going to come on, and then as you're discharging it, so they're going to sequentially go off until it comes to a point where it's lost all its charge and you need to recharge. And the bottom line here is if you're using this thing out in the field or you've got to do stuff with it where you're going to be taking, you know, you're going to be basically discharging the battery, you need something like this to keep an eye on it. And it's a quick visual. It's not looking at a needle, it's not looking at a number and wondering about it. It's basically saying, if I've got one green LED on, I'm okay. If I haven't got any green and I've got some yellow, I'm probably still all right. But as the yellows decrease and you get towards that red one, hmm, maybe I should be doing something about it. It's a better way of looking at it, possibly. So as you can see here, as the LEDs drop down, 
and we go backwards until it goes off. And that'll be back down to round about, there we are, 9.9 .9 volts, which is where we started at. So that's the bottom line in terms of how it works. So there we are again. It's a small handheld unit, very accurate, half a, half a volt per degree, or half a volt per LED resolution. Um, nice and handy, throw it in your go bag, plug it into your power supply, uh, as I say, uh, put a power pole on one end maybe, or a car adapter or something like that. And basically, you've got yourself rigged up to go out into the field and uh, use this device to keep an eye on your deep discharge battery. On sale now, eBay and Tindy. Thanks a lot for watching. This is Electra Resales. See you next time.